propels you forward in whatever you do in life. The first time I heard about Chlorabelle Paddlers, um, it was a great outlet for me to get back to feeling normal. I found out about it through my friend Rosemary and my friend Rita. They were telling me about it and I just wasn't interested. I had been very ill and couldn't even cope with the idea. So eventually they wore me down and asked me to try it. Didn't have a clue what I was doing, but they were all very helpful. So they asked me to come back, so I went back. And from then on, mentally, physically, everything was just fantastic. I was delighted I stayed and I lost four and a half stone as a result of it. I just happened to be cycling through Grand Canal Dock with my husband and we saw the regatta on. And I happened to know one of the ladies that was in the Florabelle Paddlers training and I asked her, oh God, what's going on here? And she explained to me about the regatta and um, I said, God, I'd love to join that team. And she said, oh, Susan, she said, we're all breast cancer survivors. Little did I know, three months later, I was diagnosed with breast cancer myself. I was diagnosed um, in 2010. It's like somebody dropped a bomb on your head and uh, you just can't get your head around it. I was only three months finished my treatment, right? And um, I thought I was fairly fit, but I realised when I went out that I wasn't fit. Could hardly manage a minute paddling. And I just thought the rest of the women and the Plurabelle paddlers were just like bionic women. Lift! I just couldn't get over the level of fitness. And I thought I'd never get to that stage. feeling when the boat is actually gliding along. You do okay, feel it when everybody's down. paddling together and in time the boat just glides forward. It's totally focused. You, you, you don't think about any problems, anything, anybody. You're there and you're paddling away. I like the fact that it's outdoor. I just feel free outdoor. And nothing else can come into your head. No negative thoughts or anything can come into your head when you're acting like that. Anyway. It might be a windy day, but it's still lovely, even when it's raining. It's nice. More than a sport to me, it's become my strength. After the operation, uh, when you've had breast cancer, they're inclined to tell you, don't do this, don't do that, don't even garden, don't lift things, and it was a bit of a downer. And so when I got back into the club, it was great to be able to have like-minded people and to be told that exercise is good for you. I would do gym work, Pilates, TRX, kettlebells, a bit of swimming and a bit of running. I'm probably fitter now than I was before I got sick. <laughs> you know, when I've done the training, I like to be able to tell my family, actually, that I've trained and how much exercise I've done, because not only does it confirm to me that I'm fit and healthy, but you know, it reassures the family as well at home that I'm well, and they've been through enough. Everyone knows they've had breast cancer, they've had surgery, but that doesn't come into it. 
about going on and on about my illness, I just think it just has kept me so positive. If you really did have any health worry or concern, there's a great network of women there that could, you know, help you out. But really, it's all about getting fit and exercising and having a bit of a laugh then at the end of training. There's life after breast cancer. Long may it last.